Oh, so y'all thought that Andre was the quiet one on the show? Well, he's ready to talk now. Hi, welcome to Align with Ariana. I am Ariana, of course, your favorite medium here and welcome to my channel if you are new here I am a psychic medium I am able to go beyond the realm of life and death to connect with spirits that are sometimes nice and sometimes not so much so in this tell my story edition many of you have reached out and wanted an update so in this tell my story edition I will be connecting with Andre Montgomery now, Andre Montgomery is the nephew of Miss Robbie from Welcome to Sweetie Pies, and he was killed on March 14th, 2016. Now, the person that was arrested for this case is Tim Norman. If you guys don't know, I had already covered two parts to this story, but as we are getting closer and closer to the trial that is coming up, I want to connect with the energy of Andre to see how he's doing and how he feels about this energy. Now, if you are new to my channel, welcome and enter at your own risk. I will be connecting with the energy of spirit to deliver the messages for Andre Montgomery. Now, everyone is proven innocent until guilty, but there are many allegations against Tim Norman and as it has been reported from most sources, many people that have been involved with the case have been reported that they have turned against Tim Norman and accused him in the plot for murder for hire against his nephew, Andre Montgomery. So in this Tell My Story edition, I will be connecting with this energy. Yeah, okay, so Andre, can you begin to tell me um, how you feel and where you are right now? What has happened? To you okay Andre is here and ready to connect so Andre is um, referencing that he has um, wow right now he, he describes that he's in a beautiful place okay he is describing to me that his transition has been one that's in a beautiful place he knows that he came from a loving from a kind place now he wants everyone to know that no he's not um, he doesn't want people to view him as like being just a perfect child, a perfect, you know, being. However, he's saying that he was a human being. He was having his human experience. And he's also mentioning that um, he feels some sort of like guilt surrounding the whole thing because he's saying that night he was smoking or he was in, like smoking very heavily. And he feels like that it clouded his judgment to make the best decisions for him. So he's really feeling like the energy of like not being at his very best. Now, he does reference that it, it does, it's really no excuse to what happened. He is fully aware of the people that is involved that um, happened. And he's asking for us to send prayers out for his cousin, Monique. He's referencing that because he's saying that she is having the hardest time with him, um, with his transition and coping with everything that even to the point where he's like watching over her. So he's, he's also, and I don't know if I should say this, should I say this? Okay. He's referencing that, um, sometimes, okay, that Monique could be very drowsy or sleepy, um, on occasion, um, because overwhelmed with the emotions of this energy and she's very, this is what he's telling me, you guys, he's telling me that she's very upset with the way the ha family is handling the whole entire situation, how some people are choosing to still like stay and stick around Tim. Okay. Some people are still choosing to like be by his side, support him. And she's very upset with that because um, Andre is referencing that everyone knew, like everyone knew that when the news broke out about Tim, 
in this situation the word has been traveling around underground for quite some time what had happened so there have been rumors and this you guys i'm telling you this is what i'm picking up from andre now i'm connecting with the spirit andre is saying there have been rumors before this all hit the news that there was some sort of connection of tim having something to do with this because the the vibe of Tim was always off. Even at the homegoing celebration for um, Andre, they are saying, um, I'm hearing from Spirit when I say they, um, they're saying that um, that Tim like showed up like not on time or it, it was weird how his timing was when he showed up or he didn't show up on time. He didn't, it, it was like he was very like uneasy, like moving and, not able to like digest the situation at all so like you can you could tell that from this energy that i'm picking up now listen this is strictly from the energy that andre is saying that things have been off from the beginning he's also stating that everyone needs to send prayers to monique because she's the one experiencing all of the shedding for the family there's so much guilt and energy surrounding this now andre is saying like he mentioned there by no means he wants everyone to think that um that he's just like the perfect you know angel however he is describing that he was a human being but he did not deserve to uh, go out in that manner now andre is also referencing that he is fully aware that he might be a sacrifice for the child for the family now this is deep i didn't think he was going to go this deep but he going there so i'm i'm gonna let him go there he is referencing that he does know or, or he is fully aware now that he has crossed over that he was a sacrifice for the family he understand that there are multiple hands in this situation. So all of the people that have come out and that have talked about this, this is not just like just those people talking about this. This is a family situation. This is deep. So what Andre is referencing is that multiple people hands were on deck. And this is he knows he's fully aware that he was the sacrifice for the family. He is very... Um, uneasy that he was the sacrifice for the family and he is referencing fame he is referencing referencing money he is refer referencing all of these particular things fortune fame clout he's referenced and listen you guys ooh, what he's also telling me he can speak very clearly now because you have to think it has been since 2016 since the passing and this information that he's bringing forth he's dropping and laying it down okay so he is referencing that not only did he know that he's he he's fully aware that he's the sacrifice but he's fully aware that wow that him and his father will be making a new appearance within this family to reset and restructure the order now not only Listen, not only is Andre speaking about his passing, he's speaking about the passing of his father. Okay, he's saying that his father was also set up in a particular or situation as a result to um, him passing and like the family ties. Okay, I'm seeing a contract for his father's death. Now, the way he's describing it is that it was a friend of the families that killed his father. So I'm not for sure, like, listen, you guys, I'm not for sure about this. This is coming in directly from the spiritual realm. So what I'm getting is that he's met, he's saying that it is a family of the friends um, that killed his father. And these were all contracts, like plots, all contracts and plots. So he's not, um, oh, ooh, ooh. Listen, he's laying it out. Now, what he's also telling me is that one of the biggest secrets in the family that a lot of people don't know about is they are referencing that Tim might not even have like the same blood as the family. 
that Tim might not have the same blood as the family. Yes, he comes from Miss Robbie, but he they're referencing that the person that possibly is connected or who they thought was his father, there is some weird connection there that something happened. Okay, are y'all are you referencing? Because I want to make sure I'm getting this right. Are you referencing like Tim Norman, the person that is allegedly responsible for this, or are you referencing his son? Because if I'm not mistaken, his son is Tim Jr. Tim, he they're referencing Tim, he's referencing Tim Sr. He said Tim. Okay, he's saying that there's a possibility. That Tim has like a separate like bloodline. And that's where all of this hate stems from. That it's not even coming from the same energy. The one true son that they're referencing here is Andre's father. Okay. Andre's father. Now this is coming from the spiritual realm. So this could be what spirit is saying like the royal bloodline. The ones that was heir to the throne would, 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 would be Andre and his father. And Andre's father was murdered and killed. And Andre was killed. And what I'm hearing is from Andre is that he was murdered. Somebody was murdered not too far from where Andre had got murdered from. Andre is also, Andre, how are you doing? How are you feeling? How are you healing in this process? Andre is very thankful for the way that some individuals in his family have supported him to elevate. And he's referencing this. That some people in his family have supported him to elevate, but there have been many other people in the family that just kind of walks over him. That pays him no attention like he's in the, like he's just in the grave. He's very upset. Very. And he's he has something to say. For many of the people that walked over him, even when he was alive, that kind of just paid him no attention and acted like he wasn't the true son or next in line, as he would say. He feels like all of them people knew about what was going on. And he's describing that this is some hidden pact or some sort of secrecy pact for fame and success. Now, there were some individuals that did not know the extent and still don't know the extent of this. And that's why he's asking for you guys to pray for certain individuals. Because he knows how hard they are having it. He knows that they are experiencing a lot of sadness. Okay. Andre is saying that through hell and hot water, this family is going to come down in its sort of destruction as it resorts to money or fame. Now, he's not wishing it on like the people that support him, but he is he is not happy with his with his grandmother. He is not happy with Miss Robbie. He is describing how the pain that she is continually causing and listen, this is what I am hearing from spirit. He is not happy with the situation. He is describing that all of this is going on and it keeps going on because he feels like Miss Robbie is playing a role in dragging this out. She's like encouraging this to be dragged out. And then he's also mentioning that some people won't even stand up for the truth. And it's disgusting. Right now, what he's describing, what is going on inside the family, is there is a lot of lines that have been drawn. There have been a lot of lines drawn. You have some people that are completely disgusted with the situation. And you have some people that's in support of Tim just because he's present. But many, he's saying everybody, everybody knows the truth. Everybody knows what really happened. And he's saying that he feels like, he was like, I don't know why I could be so naive to 
to even not even think that this would happen to me. But of course it happened to me because I was the sacrifice. And that's what he's saying. I was the sacrifice. And it could have been, he said, it couldn't have been no one else because I was the one that was big enough and that was strong enough to 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 stand up to people. He's saying, now what is portrayed on the show, please don't get it twisted. Please don't get it twisted. He's saying that he stood up for himself multiple times and he's saying that he went chest to chest, man to man, multiple times with his uncle. And it's always been some rift there. He's saying some sort of, you know, some sort of combative energy. He's describing that he's not ever going to back down and he's not afraid and justice will be served. So in this situation, what I am seeing definitely and hearing from Andre Montgomery is that justice will prevail and there will be some, now he's describing that there's some sort of um, loss or some sort of ties with the business had to be cut off. So a lot of contracts with the Sweetie Prize brands, the only way for them to get out of the contract was to sell the buildings. It was something as it relates to the buildings. They had to release or sell so many buildings to cut ties with the contract of the name of the company's name, the Sweetie Pies, okay? Because he's saying that there was a lot of karmic energy put on that name. He's also saying that name actually legally might not be able to be used again. So don't be surprised if the name, like some of the locations that might still be there, they might change their name. But he's saying something about about the ties or the contracts, the business dealing, because Tim did own a portion or percentage of the business, that there's some sort of hold up on the business name. Now, this was supposed to come out, or actually, he's saying this was not supposed to come out, but he said he gonna let it ride and let it let it ride for everybody, because he's he's saying that if it rolled for him, if he had to go down for it, he's gonna be the one to spill the tea, and he's saying that a lot of the contracts could not they were they're null and voided he said they are null and voided a lot of the locations they had to he's mentioning that they had to release the contract or some sort of business dealings by selling the particular building and he's saying that he was the one that responsible to make that happen and when you guys when I did his reading initially he was strong but now he's strong okay he's very strong he's also mentioning how um um, he's not happy with, okay, so he's mentioning like how his cousin, he's saying Charles, okay. He's saying that they were very close, close um, during this process, but he's saying that he knows that he does feel some type of way about their relationship, but he's not happy at how Charles is like not being aggressive or like, because on the show, what he's saying is that he portrays to be the outspoken one, but that's actually not like the a lot of the energy that, that came around. He's saying that Andre is saying that he was the one that's outspoken, but he's saying he's not really happy how Charles is not being as aggressive right now and kind of just, you know, floating on the fence because everyone's kind of just like some people are floating on the fence and some people are not. So he's making it well known that he's not with the bull. He's also referencing that that there was some sort of, there's a $30,000 or $30,000 um contract or some sort of investment lingering out there he's saying up roughly about thirty thousand dollars that someone else did receive in regards to this and i don't know who it was that received something as far as an insurance but he's saying that tim is not the only one that had an insurance policy on him there are other individuals that had an insurance policy on him so this is all like coming out from so the way he's describing it is that his grandmother had some sort of connection and some sort of policy as well. Like not a connection in his death. Okay, so I want to be very clear. This is coming from the spirit realm and this is not accusing anyone of anything. This is strictly my energy, my opinion coming from the spirit realm. Okay, so he's not saying that Miss Robbie knew, but he is saying that she did receive some sort of financial gain or investment from this plot okay but she um th she had an insurance policy but um, he's referencing something about thirty thousand dollars or roughly around those numbers and um this was some sort of 
um, monies. He's also referencing that that he's very pissed because no one in the family has really helped his mother in the situation that she's been in, that she's been going through. No one has been coming forth to talk and deal with his mother. And he's very upset about that. How are these people getting all of this money and all of these things and they have not done anything for my mother? They have not been there to support my mother. My mother was a good part of my journey she's been one of the best parts of my healing journey and they said that they 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 take a he's saying that a lot of them feel like they can just kind of like stand over his mom because his mom is very quiet and very meek but because it's a money issue like this side of the family feels like they have more that they feel like um they don't really have to reach out to his mom but he's saying no you have to reach out to my mom you have to reach out to my mom because my mom has been with me through this. He's saying the mom, my mom knew a lot of the things that I would tell them, tell her what was going on behind the scenes. But my mom is saving face for the whole family. My mom is trying to keep everything together because she wants to be on one accord. But he's saying, no, not this season. My mom needs to come out and tell the things that I told her that I felt like it was going on. He was very intuitive and he did feel like that there was some things that were going on behind his back he just couldn't intellectualize it because he's saying that a lot of this time that he was in that he was spending time like smoking or doing his music but he's saying he couldn't intellectualize it but he's saying that he discussed a lot of this information with his mom and his mom knew a lot of things now there have been some things in regards to his clothing and his secrecy his items they were just kind of like given away or not even not even done like no one whoever was responsible for doing the right things they did not do the right things with his items and he's not happy about that he's saying that he's going through his healing journey he's healing and he's going to come back in a different way in a different light because he's still a part of the light his part his journey was to bring a new beginning to this family after the killing of his father however the way that things happened what he is telling me is that there was too much jealousy and envious this is a karmic court what he's describing describing through the family and he's saying that there will be justice so i want to thank you guys for aligning with ariana in this tell my story reading if you would like your own personal reading please visit the link down below or send me an email if you would like your own personal reading if you think you will be a great candidate make sure you follow me on instagram at align goddess for more details for more goodies for more working your magic peace